Weer beter. Weer een bedrijf. Een small element. En Shiva. Shiva himself. Personally did not want to, want to get into a violent mode. So he took a strand of his hair and created Virabhatra. A situation arose in Shiva's life where a great injustice happened, out of which his wife Sati became a victim of that and she immolated herself. When he heard this, he wanted to act, but parts of him were so still that he was not made for action. So he pulled out a strand of his hair and created Virbhatra. A Veera means a, a valiant one, a courageous one. The word Veera essentially comes from the word Virya. Virya means the sperm, the seed out of which a human being is born. These two aspects are so directly connected. That is, the significant aspect of Shiva's life is that he never spilled his palm. So the significance of this is just this, the fundamental vital energy in the system, instead of letting it go in a physiological manner or a physical manner which will lead to reproduction. He used the same energy to hit the peak of consciousness. He spilled from the top of his head. No yogi can be called a yogi unless he spills from the top of his head. So, Virabhadra was just a hair, a strand of hair. He went and performed single-handedly. He went and slaughtered the armies of the king who caused this injustice. The, the story is trying to say that because Shiva spilled his Vedya from the top of his head. His hair is that potent that just one strand of hair could destroy a whole army. And once a human being is not involved in the reproductive process, naturally his attachment to the body is very minimal. Once his attachment to the body is minimal, his sense of fear does not exist. Once there is no fear, he is naturally a valiant. It is… that is a consequence of this.